Welcome back to another episode here in our Houston Texans franchise. We're going to be playing week 17 and week 18 against division rivals just to see where we finish on the season. A 4-11 season with really tough sliders has been a challenge. The Titans just got done smoking us. The Browns just got done smoking us. And then two weeks before that, the Jets destroyed us. Of course, we do have a couple of guys that still may finish with some decent stats. And maybe it gives them a dev up or two. Let's go on to week 17, though, real quick and see what we're cooking with. Any breakouts? No. Plain spoiler. That is a potential chance, but at this point, it would be spoiling the division title rather than a playoff spot. I think they're going to make it no matter what. And then a movable object. Apparently, they're a top defense as well as a top rushing attack, although we'll say Derrick Henry's numbers look pretty low here. Uh, let's take a look at the players of the week and then maybe take a look at our players, see what kind of uh, milestones we might be able to hit. Dak Prescott, Lamar Jackson, and then Shaq Thompson with Divine Diablo. Uh, looking at Stroud, I don't think he's going to be winning any awards, to be honest. Pierce, though, up to 1,600 yards, killing it. Nico Collins disappeared last game. Pro progressive fatigue is off, yet he still disappeared. Dell might get to 1,000 as well. Dalton Schultz, uh, maybe. Pierce has a lot of receiving yards. And then Mechie kind of only came out of the scene late. But, yeah, I mean, it was actually a pretty good season so far for the receivers but as far as like pass rush goes we've definitely struggled in then interceptions griffin and stingley both have a lot of them fairburn perfect kicking as well so i mean we've got some guys that have had individually good seasons but as a team we have obviously not done the best of work uh but let's take a look at the weekly strategy see if we can maybe just knock the titans down a peg maybe even make them miss the playoffs who knows uh, but stopping them, inside run you would think makes more sense even if it suggested outside run. And then attacking them, they're actually a really bad run defense. Do we not just run inside, see if we can, uh, I don't know, turn uh, Damian Pierce into a 2,000 yard rusher, which is ridiculous to think. And I know this is a lot to ask for, but it might even just be too much to ask for for my PC in general. But if we get 750 likes before the end of the day... I'll actually stream the draft tonight on twitch.tv slash jerumpycare. Once again, assuming my PC can even handle it, because literally the last time I tried to stream, like over a year ago, my PC said, sorry, your your equipment is just not having it. We're just not having it. But 750 likes, and I will at least try, and I'll, I'll even show, you know, like send a message uh, of an error message if it doesn't let me, but I will try. Anyways, uh, let's get into the final episode of the first season of our Houston Texans franchise See if we can actually get a win or two to, you know, maybe show some hope. All right, we did our training. I'm just going to skip it because last episode was actually kind of long anyways. No, the season hasn't gone exactly the way we wanted to, but it's important to remember that we can't just phone it in for the rest of the year. Any Anything else? Definitely it's way too early to be thrown in the towel if we're able to go out and show these guys that we can play with top teams right now. They'll be even more prepared for it next season. Yeah, I mean, maybe... Um, a significant boost. Oh, okay. Uh, and then a movable object. Uh, let's see what it says. You're going to be facing a top defense. Uh, run game. I think it starts with the running game. I think we can smoke them. Beat the Titans and rush for 150 plus. Oh, that's 125 plus yards on offense. Stroud will have that all on his own. We might have some upgrade points, but this is what the sliders look like right now. Uh, haven't changed anything since... Well, going into this week, uh, I guess did change. I changed their pass coverage and pass defense re reaction time to 50. So it's going to go from 100 to 80 to 50, which is base. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We'll uh, keep you posted. And then for the final uh, thing before we go into the game, Grenard has an upgrade point, which was really mid, actually. And then John Mechie. I mean, he still has potential. How old is he now? 23? He still has got potential. I mean, wide receiver is a problem for this team, but unless it looks like a clear-cut must-grab player, the receiver room might not change a whole lot, honestly. We're hoping that some of these guys, like we said, with these milestones can just get dev ups based on you know being near 1,000 yards. Play rec plus four is actually pretty ridiculous, but only plus one is zone. Still a nice little upgrade. Let's go in against these Titans, try to get some revenge on them, and maybe once again knock them out of the playoffs. If they go 9-8, and eight, there's a chance they miss. So we're obviously trying to win this game. Plus, we have a bonus. It said a significant boost for our team 
if we win, and I'm, I love presents. Here we are back at home where we constantly disappoint the fans. This is a, a blackout situation where sooner or later the TV stations are just going to stop showing the games because no one wants to see this. We got special uniforms on today, uh, you know, showing off a little bit of that color. We got red versus blue, the classic matchup between two teams. And obviously, we're trying to come back stronger than ever. They obviously just got done smoking the hell out of us, which team hasn't in the last three weeks. Even the Jets, like we said a few weeks ago, they put up a bunch of points on us. But we're hoping with the changes we've made that things can go a little bit more in our favor. Obviously, Nico Collins, we've seen the yards are way up there, even if he missed last game entirely due to fatigue issues. And uh, obviously, Tank Dell's not too far behind. Dalton Schultz, don't know if I see him as the future option on this team, but if he gets the superstar, it'd be very hard to let him go. So obviously, him having a chance to get a dev up as well would be really massive. Obviously, we still have the draft. The Browns did beat us, which was a huge loss as we have their draft pick. But they lose, if you look at the bottom, to the Jets. I mean, our draft pick is basically guaranteed to be top 10, I think, which is pretty good. Pretty good. As we kick the ball off, and we're going to see if we can have a little bit better of a week this uh, this time around. And uh, there goes Tannehill, who had a pretty good week against us last time, but not as good as the one and only Derrick Henry, who almost broke the NFL rushing yard record against us. That was a game where we also had a Christian Harris breakout, uh, but we did get it. We didn't get the second one, sadly, but hey, that was a very significant week, let me tell you. It was... Uh, we went through it that week. I was There was some emotions going on. Kirksey on the inside, and we're actually going to stop him. They had the fullback block, but Kirksey got just enough of a push where Derrick Henry couldn't get out freely, and they actually lose a yard. Fair enough. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Second 11 now, Tannehill. Going to be throwing this ball, and we're on that. Might help. Yeah, might need help, but doesn't need it. Kirksey. Back-to-back -back plays, holding Derrick Henry for a yard on two plays. Pretty impressive. All right, come on, boys. Let's see if we can get a stop. We're going to have to go deep, and we leave the tight end underneath. It's not even the tight end, and we get the stop. We had to cover uh, Hopkins. If we didn't, it's a first down. Instead, underneath, we took the risk, and uh, Westbrook could not get there. Not the fastest receiver in the world. That's why we kind of thought he was a tight end because he's – a bit on the slower side. Tyler Goodson on the return. Hasn't really had a great season of returning, but I mean, he's got us like six, seven yards of return pretty much, which is all you can really ask for on the punts. It's pretty hard to return punts. Stroud going out there. We really don't want to see these numbers. They have gone negatively over the last like four weeks or so. We said to run inside, I think, but yet here we are running to the outside. Maybe I should have went with the run outside. And we got some blocks. Nothing crazy, but about six. It's a positive gainer last week. Didn't get much touches as once again limiting us hard in the scoring cali you know, category, which means you know we're kind of chasing the game, and then we feel like we have no time to run, and we get into one-dimensional stuff. We're going to try to avoid that this week as Devin Singletary is going to find a huge gap for 12. Back to Devin Singletary actually might be a change of plan. And once again, where the hell... Is our damn receiver. And that's a nice throw. Mechie holds on. Gains 12. Progressive fatigue is off. It's literally off. Yet, where is he? I don't I don't know where Nico Collins is, dude. I actually don't know where he is. I don't even, hell, I don't even know where Tank Dell is. As Robert Woods, I mean, the old slow man, gains two. Now you got Brevin Jordan in. I don't even know what's going on anymore. To the outside, Devin Singletary. Can't get the juke move, gains one. Tight end screen. Brevin Jordan is, you know, more athletic than Dalton Schultz in fairness. There is nobody there for us to block. Oh, nice. Brevin Jordan tries. He gets a few. Might have even given us a field goal with that effort. It's from 60. It's a lot of yards, but... Oh, man, with the win. I don't know if this is going to go in, but we're going to try. We missed the accuracy or the power as well. I don't think that's going in. Oh, it's in. Wow. Fairburn's got a leg on him. Beautiful kick. Still missless. Dating life not going well for him. <laughs> All right, Kirksey. Get out there, Kirksey. Not today. Oh, we fell down. Derrick Henry taking out one-on-one -on -one by, who is that, Stingley? 
Stingley's an aggressive corner last week. Definitely not as good as when he played us, but, you know, he's got to be uh, licking his lips when he's seen us coming. He's like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it to him. But please don't. Like, we're off to an okay start. Let's continue that. And outside, wide open, Stingley on it, but a little late. First down, and Skaronski, the first-round pick, injured going to the locker room. Not a good sight for him. Petrie. Kind of in the middle, and we do need to get out there. And we're going to slow him down. That's all you can really ask for, gains three. And I already mentioned it once that we're doing okay against the ground. I'm, I'm not going to say it anymore, even though I just did. Second and seven. I don't know where to go. I knew he was going to go there, but too far. Um, I am pulling out the old friend of mine that I never use. Is that Why does he even have a pen? What is he writing down there with that? Yeah, that's not even close. Receiver didn't have anything. Receiver didn't have a singular foot down. There you go. Call reversed. Back. Get back. Nice. Third and seven. After the successful challenge. And it's a challenge that is going to cost them, well, a touchdown drive. They're going to have to either kick the field goal or punt. They do have the wind in their favor, so you would assume this is going to be a pretty walk-in-the-park punt, even though it's, it's still deep. Got to hit the accuracy, which he does with ease, although I will say he must be... Is that Maher? Who is that? It looks like Maher. I couldn't tell. It might have been W. It might have been Waher. I don't know who the hell is that. Maybe he's thirsty. Waher. I need some water. Let's go, Phillips. Get out of my way. Ah, oh, back with the terrible block. The one guy on this special teams that should be, that's literally paid to block. It's the one that misses his block. Way to go, dude. Pierce is in. Woods. Dell is back, at least. I don't know what's going on. Uh oh Yeah, that's going to happen. Counterplay not working out too well. Does that count? That counts as an outside run, too, probably. Post wheel. Man, you got to learn, like, trigonometry just to learn these routes, man. And that throw's good. Robert Woods going to show off some speed in his old age. He's got open green. He's also got no speed to the 23. Broken defense. Took the short play some distance. Let's go with this. Brevin Jordan. I mean, he's not super open, but he will gain about nine. Play action. Everyone's so tired that the backup George Fant is in. Do I have to turn off fatigue just completely? And we are not going to get that ball off first in completion of the game. Took so long for everyone to develop, and uh, in general, the blocks weren't, like, great. They weren't terrible, but they weren't great either. I don't know if I like this. Well, it's going to be a handoff, and Singletary's in a fight, but we're going to lose two. Ish field goal time, baby. They're telling us to go for it, but, like, I don't think they understand. For us to be, like into the second quarter now basically and still be leading is a miracle and i like witnessing miracles and i had to kick it myself because the game was like go for it go for it do you little pull all right they got a lot of receivers out we're not in the best of spots let's go thomas against uh, just deandre hopkins we're nowhere to be found in fairness and good tackle by us we'll make it short I suppose we got all the players in the world D hop not in a good spot for us I'll tell you that much we got it played over top and with the teamwork Derrick Henry stopped and I didn't change the run block sliders for them only thing I changed was their coverage I will say our sliders might have been messed up because for some reason when I loaded the game it was like I never played the game before oh Goodson Damn it, dude. I thought I would have had the angle. I should have went a little bit further out there to the 19. I mean, it's about where you would expect. Yards in our favor. We've come prepared with the sliders changed. <laughs> That's all. Post wheel. Who we got? Tank Dell once again. Oh, I wish it was Tank Dell on the Robert Woods play last time. This is the same play, obviously. They're a little bit in better coverage this time, and Dell drops it. Did not expect him to stop where he did, but it is what it is. Xavier Hutchinson on the sweep. God, there's a lot of moving pieces on this playbook. Oh, Hutchinson found some room. Going to try to bury him. Nice. Gains about 12, and that counts as a pass. Oh, my Lord. Bayard was giving out favors. 
Did you see that head bob, though? Sheesh. I didn't know we were we were that friendly. Uh, Singletary is going to gain about two. Revan Jordan. Yeah, we got some we got some fatigue issues on this team right now, and there's nothing we can do about it. Loss of one or a gain of one, which I mean, big difference. Looks like a blitz, so we're gonna be trying to. How do you do this? Wait, is there no like pinch the line? I don't know. Look at Brevin, Brevin Jordan off the line. Byron's like the most struggly defensive back on their team right now. And yes, I said struggly. What do you want? All right, we got Singletary as a lead blocker. He's not fast. He's not big. Not really sure what we're getting out of him. Oh, great blocks is what we're getting. Although Byron barely catches us. The sweep action and all this kind of stuff. All this behind the line of scrimmage stuff is actually kind of cooking. Man, you really got no choice but to run this play when you get it. And that's pretty good. Kind of threw it a little hard out there, but want to get that ball out really quickly. And the throw is good enough. I will say that. Remind me not to use this playbook again. This is some challenge. Brevin Jordan cooking up, man. Gets slammed, but gains eight. Arden Key, the pass rusher. Everyone is still dead, man. I'm, we're not going to get our challenges with Nico or Tank Dell. I just don't understand how many years this is going to be a problem. Like, how many years are we going to have to deal with this? Oh, Hutchinson. Oh, really? I did not think he was going to get that. I know Hutchinson's on the slower side, but I thought that was free. I thought we were actually, like, maybe scoring a touchdown. And said, we almost scored a touchdown for the other team. Not a fun one. Though that is a deep route from Mechie, and that's going to be picked off. Good hit, but was that actually how far he was supposed to be running that? Because I swear it was like a deep in, like a 10-yard in. And he ran like almost a post. I wish I could see back that. What the heck? Get out of my face, man. But like I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a 10-yard post. He's like starting at the... 28 and he's like literally posting maybe it was a post i don't even know dude great drive ruined by miscommunication i mean even the linebackers the defense is having stamina issues oh lord we just got burned oh we're not even gonna catch him henry thank you nice hit it wasn't actually beck earlier it was henry i thought beck wore 39 but he doesn't so i was yelling at a slower linebacker for not picking up the block whoops my bad Pyramid. Got a deep route. We're not going to get there. Oh, he had it too. It was a hard read to make though. We're in about as good a coverage as you can get. We finally get him. Jerry Hughes and I don't know who else. So once again, our fatigue is just terrible. Oh my lord. What is going on here? Ward and company. Harris going to press. I didn't fully press. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I could be picked. That's all right. It's a good fight. Number one and number five, Petrie versus Hamler. KJ Hamler, the speed demon, in a little bit of a battle there. Coverage is pretty good, but the pass rush has been non-existent. And it's because, once again, we're dead on the D-line. I wonder why we've been losing so badly lately. Oh, we're a little late there. Get that Phillips. Nice. With that clean tackle, that might be out of field goal range. We'll see. They told me to protect the fake, but... You'd have to be some sort of lunatic to fake a 4th and 19. Unless your season was over, which it's not. And he misses the kick. Might be the first time we've seen an AI miss, like, wide left in a game so far. I mean, usually they just nail every single kick. And the backup bowl is still on. Kind of want to run this, because I don't think they're going to be able to cover. I mean, there's really no one open here. And we changed the slider, so... Harold Landry's injured. Nine yards gained for Robert Woods, though. Stroud playing pretty well right now. Obviously, that interception was more of a technically a read thing. Oh, there's nobody on Brevin again. Man, I, I really think Brevin Jordan's starting tight end number uh, one, like, going forward. Like I said, if Dolan Schultz could have gotten his, uh, you know, 1,000 yards or whatever, got to Superstar, but it looks like that's not going to happen now. I mean, they're going to leave this short stuff open. It's, oh my, slam. WWE. I'm going to keep throwing it short. Normally, we don't have much of a deep threat, but without our starters in, we're really not looking good. Oh, wow. The running back was wide open, but thankfully, Robert Woods hits it. 
with the catch. It's a tough catch, too. And it doesn't matter. Single Terry out of the backfield. And we might have had him in the end zone if we had a little more time. Sacked, though, for a loss of eight. Got that play action. George Fan with the block and release. Hopefully he just, just blocks. Hit that Stroud. Uh, was that my fault? I think I released it too late. That is a touchdown. Gone. Gone. Like all of our starting players. Single Terry? Okay, I, I sure. Revan? It's a really good catch, but it's going to kind of lead to nothing. But another field goal. All right, we're up by six. I haven't been able to say anything about being leading in a game for a while now. A little short underneath. Thomas, I overran it like I do. Gains nine. I get so aggressive because I'm like, don't let up any yards, don't let up any yards, and then I just miss because of it. Let's go Will Anderson since he's like almost never in now. Not going to get there. That throws a little out there. We'll get the first. Both teams throwing really short passes. I bet you this is super fun. The fans are loving it. Although I will say in the NFL, a lot of passes, a lot of plays are short short plays. Ah, that's my fault. I kind of thought somebody was going to come to the middle. Oh, he just dropped the ball easily there. He was in bounds. You never know. Dalton Schultz is there. What is he doing? Get back in on offense, buddy. Even though Brevin Jordan's probably the reason why we're leading. Oh, we drop back nicely, but nobody is on the tight end. Gains nine. Dalton Schultz just chilling out of bounds, just waiting. What the hell? All these linebackers. Oh, that's not bad for them. Okay, Petrie. Good defense. The Titans are leading. Oh, look. Damian Pierce, Dalton Schultz, Tank Dell. They're all in. How long? Who knows? 111. Don't want to just get... Oh, Pierce getting about 10. Don't want to just get one dimensional because we only have a minute left. We can still throw a couple of runs in there every once in a while. Tank Dell end zone shot. Ah, he pulls off right as we're running. Would have either had a chance to run for a lot of yards or set up a throw. What the hell is this? Reverend Jordan going deep. All oh, the backups are in again. They're like, we've, we've got you for two plays, coach, and then we're out. Oh. Oh, and he holds on. I forgot what the route was. I forgot there was a squiggle to the route, and it was like a double move, and I kind of just thought it was like straight corner. It was not. Oh, Brevin! The throw's good! Brevin Jordan! What? Tight end one! It's official. Tight end one. All right, after that, tight end two again. Just had to do something, didn't he? He just had to do it. Two-point conversion on the run. Oh, did he get it? Oh, he was so close. Our lineman had a chance to really set that up, and he waited for the guy to come to him instead of just running him over. I mean, we have a lead at halftime. What else could you ask for from this team that's again bullied every single week? And we have fatigue issues. 227 yards passing. No rushing, though. Is our backups in. And Singletary, as a few pure starter, not good. Not very good. We're going to stop and run inside still. One touchdown could really mean the difference. So we are obviously going to return the kick. And there was there was a little opening. Singletary. I mean, Brevin Jordan being in has been great for us. But all these other backups being in, not as much. Oh, my God. Gord. Oh, what a throw. Robert Woods to start the second half. Oh, my Lord. He gets dumped down to the eight. I'm telling you, Robert Woods is him. Nobody wanted to believe me. And yet, look at Robert Woods right now. He is amazing. He's amazing. That's not going to work out. No one open on that. Robert Woods is insane. Nobody believed me. I think that safety is obviously baiting. I think you still take it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. He got killed. But honestly, is no one else impressed that we didn't throw a pick there? I know it's very early and we're about to throw a pick on this play, but... In it, mm, single tear was in the end zone. I hesitated for a second. Might have been enough to cost us those points. Got down the field in a super hurry, but then got locked up when it mattered most. And could not get the touchdown. 
Anderson gets around him, but it just takes too long. Buried is Derrick Henry, though. Only a gain of two. Defense is uh, up to the occasion so far. But it's early. Damn. Oh, he dropped it. The throw was a little low, but he straight up just dropped the ball. I actually thought we were going to have a chance at like a hit over the middle, but he actually just like they threw it right past us. And right into the soft spot. Hopkins makes up for it with a really good toe tap to the 50. First and 10 looks like a run, not a run. Slant again. Going to gain seven on the catch this time with Hamler. That quick slant is so tough to stop. And we try to go in. We left the tight end, but with the blitz, Christian Harris gets the sack. Third and 10 now. We practice his uh, pass rush every single week. Because you just don't know when you need him to blitz. And we will have to make the user tackle, and we do to the 44. I was a little more patient this time because I knew I had a little bit more room to work with, especially knowing that it was Derrick Henry. You can't, you can't have a bad angle on him. Bad angle, he stiff arms you. And we actually got the stop, and they're going to miss another field goal. It would be down by two for the Titans right now. Obviously, these are long kicks, which is what's costing them. And they have Maher, a kicker. But up by eight with ball because of bad kicking. Let's see Damian Pierce on the carry. As Pierce is going to gain about four. I'm going to hurry up. It's saying Devin Singletary. Fatigue, he's at like 57%. And, yeah, I mean, if you're fatigued, you shouldn't be out there, I guess. Do I just have to turn off fatigue? Like, in general? Like, the actual, like, gameplay slider fatigue? Third and six. I mean, Robert Woods is open enough. Ah, Byard's on it, or whoever the hell that is. Should have went for something shorter, but he beat him off the line. Yeah, he did. Ugh. Already a punt. Johnson with the kick to the moon barely angled it right and it just went miles out maybe because it was so high that the wind took it I don't even know but we're holding on to an eight-point lead for now or trying to get oh oh hey oh holy crap we're not gonna catch him we're actually not gonna catch him and there he goes oh my I hesitated because I didn't know where he was gonna go and well it happened perfect blocking nobody got off it was it was up to us with Ward or no one, and Ward is a lot slower than Derrick Henry. Burned us. And we get blocked by our own guy. Number six is lost. He's literally running back inside when the ball was pitched to the left. Just like that, the Titans have tied it up. Phillips on the return. Get out of our way. Phillips, good try, but the kicker with the tackle. For us to be doing what we're doing, though, with the backups in, I mean, I ain't, I ain't going to cry about it. You know, we're doing all right for ourselves. We're in some trouble seeing ghosts again. Late hit, no call. Got to get rid of that slant, like, immediately when we see it. Drag, not even really open, but catches it for three. Even on 50 base, it just seems like the coverage is locked down. I know we do have, like, 300 yards passing, but, like, two of them are, like, non-deserved try to cut it back inside for some help but didn't work out got the first though it works i guess in that sense it's like a weird counter play and counters just oh it worked because singletary bounced it but as far as like pure blocking goes it was pretty garbage read option can maybe work because they're expecting like you know they have to hesitate if they're going to read us and there's some room for singletary to gain about 10 Wrong. Ground game's kind of sucked, but at least it's opening up a little bit when it matters most. Back to this play, which has been so hit or miss. Nobody on Devin. Nice juke move inside. Gains an extra, like, four on it. 14-yard gain after a first down. Singletary is going to be dead soon. we got a couple of running backs. I don't really like them, per se, but we do have a few, so we're not, like, screwed, screwed. That's a good throw. Robert Woods, who's having a big game to the 17. 164 yards for Robert Woods. I'm telling you, he's wide receiver one, and nobody wanted to admit it. No one wanted to have that conversation. Robert Woods cutting it back inside. Gets a nice chunk to the three. What a fight. 
He is literally the GOAT. He puts all of our other wide receivers to shame. It's insane. Run inside for Singletary. I don't feel great about it, but all at the same time, I don't want to throw a pick at the goal line when any points gives us the lead again. It's hard. It is hard playing quarterback here. Not going to get that. There was a couple of looks, but none of them are clean. These damn struggles at the damn goal line are going to be the damn end of me. Brevin, what is that throw? Brevin was open in the back of the end zone, and Stroud on a perfect blue release, whatever the hell that is, misses him. Am I missing something here? I see Brevin back of the end zone. What is he doing? What is this throw? He's open in the end zone. Look at him run left, and then he has a stop. That's on Stroud. I take zero, and I mean zero responsibility. I take literally zero. I'm going to come up, buddies. We kind of sold. If they would have broken containment, that would have been a GG. At least the guy decided to take it out. Now we're at the three instead of what could have been the 20. Henry, oh... Good work, though. Slowed him down, at least. That block was insane. I don't care that they look like they're going to throw it. We got to go for it. And safety. Whoo, good throw away, but at least we forced the punt. Good D. Entering the fourth quarter, pretty much. Tied up and almost in, like, scoring range already. I'm going to cut it inside to the 42. Basically scoring range, like we said. Robert Woods over the middle. Could be a Brevin Jordan throw, though. Damn it, I was looking deeper and... Uh, am I just blind? Honestly, am I? do I just have vision problems? I mean, we got a lot of passing yards, but like, it just seems like if it's not underneath, it's not open. Am I wrong? So you can maybe throw this to Robert Woods at best. Hutchinson's covered. Brown, you're not getting that throw out there unless he streaks, which obviously he's cutting in. I mean, really, it's Brevin Jordan early, which is who I was going to throw to, but I saw Noah Brown over there, and I was like, maybe if we wait. But now nah, they're just backed up. I I'm not blind. Well, I might be, but in this circumstance, I'm not. Second to 21. And Singletary's going to find a ton of room. I don't know what the hell Kenyon Green's doing, but we get back to the line of scrimmage, and, I mean, all we really need is, like, three or four yards. Screen passes work for us. I'm going to go back to it. I mean, if we had to hit a field goal from here, we probably could. Uh-oh, they're in some trouble, but it works out, and Singletary's going to get it again. The screen game is undefeated. Singletary to the end zone. Yeah, I'm sure this will work out. There goes Hutchinson finding some room for a gain of about eight, nine maybe. All right, the main route from is George Fant. Oh, uh, why didn't we get another tight end? Yeah, there's no way. That's a really bad decision. Try to stop, and it wouldn't let me. When's the last time you've had your backups in all game long? That's a tough one. It's a great catch by Hutchinson, though. Only needed once. I figured they thought run, but I guess not. This time, though, I might just run it like three times in a row. We get it, we get it, we don't, we don't. Which, with the way they're pushing, I mean, it's definitely going to be more of a don't situation. Last time we ran the draw, didn't really go so well. I'm just going to let him run, and then I'll take control after. And CJ Stroud is in! We got a touchdown. Oh, my Lord, it feels like it's been forever. Seven minutes left, and Tennessee doesn't know what they're seeing. They're like, what happened to the team that we played the other week? Single Stingley's not going to get the juke move, but intercepting Mr. DeAndre Hopkins. Pierce is in. He's like, I want some uh, fun. I want some. I don't ever get to come in when we win. And Pierce is dead. <laughs> Hurry up to the line just to keep him in for now. Let's see if Tank Dell wants to run around. And Stroud, going to gain a few, or one. Brevin Jordan behind the defense, could score! Does! Touchdown! The Texans are back, baby! Oh my lord, back to the number two spot on the tight end list. But it's just weird for sliders, like, obviously we made them a little bit easier for ourselves, but 
it still seems tough. We have yards in this one, but it still seems really tough. Oh, my Lord. Here they go again. Oh, my God. Is he really just going to score? To the 21 on two nonchalant runs with just perfect blocks. 150-some yards, and it feels like he's done nothing all day but two runs. That's insanity, dude. Oh, he missed hard on the hit stick. I just feel like Derrick Henry, you need to pop him to have a chance to take him down quick. And, well, I don't know how that was a miss, to be honest. We were, like, literally right on him. Derrick Henry in the zone. That's a good tackle, but kind of had two guys to cover there. The tight end was getting in behind, and then the wide receiver who was not going to score, whereas the tight end could have if we didn't cover. Trying to get out there with Ward, and we kind of got pushed away. Henry fights to the four. Clock is not a problem, so they could wait this, waste this all the way down to the two-minute, and sure, it gives them a lesser chance, but they still would have time to make the stop and get the ball back. So we just see this as a don't let them score situation. And that's pretty good. Once again, it's going to help them get a little closer, though. Our pass defense is 32nd. We've given up only under 200 yards today, but it is the Titans after all. Our sliders just made it look like the Titans were goaded, but they're really not. Trying to get out there, and we miss him by an inch. Damn. Kind of forced to return this, but Phillips has been kind of close all game, so why not? Looked like a little bit of a face mask. Hit stick was scary, though. And then number three is fighting us. Relax. So I don't want to run the ball because it'll be an astronomical sell. I just know it. We always do this at the end of the game. And there goes Mechi. Great throw. Huge gainer to the 50. And because he got tapped early, not going to be a rollover out of bounds. Maybe be a huge first down to the 50-yard line. A field goal wins us the game, so... Like I said, kind of want to get a little more aggressive in the late portion of the game, unlike usual. And Singletary, with a little bit of a stiff arm, they've given up 500 yards today. Might actually win the game on just wasting the clock, perhaps. Even though it's not been an easy time, Singletary has been a trooper. And he's been massive in this game. Now, before, I was kind of like, okay, don't run the ball, you know, try to get, some, get down the field, let's not play too conservatively. But now... Now you play conservatively, especially when it's working. Two-minute warning, second and four. First down puts him in a spot. There's literally no point in throwing it because all we have to do is kick the field goal we win. And how the run game's been pretty good. Singletary trying to bust it for the touchdown. Can't. They're really in the spot now. Unless we fumble, it's literally the only chance is, a, uh, is one minute left down ten. My, oh, my, I was about to say, might have got too crazy, but actually gained five on it anyways. Singletary stamina has got to be getting low, though, which is worrisome. And Singletary is still going to fight and gains four. They might actually not get the stop. They're blitzing. Is the fullback going to go left? Screw it. Lead. And Singletary with the effort wins the game. Oh, it's been a hell of a drought. And we finally are back in the win column. We're just playing these games just to, you know, keep it realistic. You don't want to sim them out. It's like, oh, we lost both games. We've got a better draft pick. Oh, who would have thought? Can't say we ain't trying. As they're going to win the game 32-25. to 25. I like the numbers. I like, you know, those are pretty sim numbers. Pass yards are a bit high, but at the same time, it was a lot of short fields. You know, big plays both sides. Derrick Henry had two big runs, and we had two big, uh, a couple of throws to Robert Woods that were huge. But overall, we win the game despite the fact that we couldn't see Tank Dell or Nico Collins much. Stroud's numbers for touch on a pick ratio doesn't doesn't change, but his yards are up there. Having a Jameis Winston right now. Singletary was decent. Derrick Henry was obviously better. Uh, Brevin Jordan was amazing. Robert Woods was amazing. Uh, Brevin Jordan, though, look at that. Could even break out for next week, which would be insane. Uh, and then Christian Harris had a sack. We didn't really get much pressure in that one. Derek Singley with a pick. They missed two field goals, which was massive. And we end up winning the game by seven. Let's take a look at these scenarios. I mean, we won. That's all you could really ask for. We got... Oh, did we get the 100? I don't think we got the rushing yards. We were very close. But I think we might have missed it. Might have missed it. We'll take a look at those upgrades in a sec, as we obviously still have to play week 18. And we have to go to the playoffs. Uh, playing spoiler... Let's see what they give. What is what is 
significant upgrade. Great job this week. We just showed the lead that even though we didn't start the year as a playoff caliber team, we're going to finish as one. I don't know if I agree with that. I'm really proud of the team. There's no quitting these guys. This win could be really nice. Be a really nice building block for us moving into next season. Oh, that is significant. I'm not sure how three players are the team, but that is significant. They're not wrong. Although I'm not really sure how Jimmy Ward is involved. He gave up a huge touchdown at the end there. I would have given it to Will Anderson, but Carter seemed to, as the running game was a focal point in the lead up this week, it didn't light up the box score, but seemed to be enough for the win. It was. What do we get for this? 1,000 XP. Oh, that's even better. We ate the W talking about freaking Jameis Winston again. Fair enough. What are these upgrades looking like, though? Ooh, there's a lot. There is a lot. Damian Pierce, who is, like, not played because of fatigue. Does this show the health? Where is it? Fatigue is low. I guess I'm going to have to just turn off fatigue or something because, like, it's just not working out. Um, trucking, his stiff arm sucks, but I think we've been over this. We already kind of believe he's a great power back, so elusiveness is our route to go, I think. Although that was really bad. Let's go power move now since elusive was terrible. What do we get? One to stiff, one to truck, one to break tackle. I mean, that's good. Jimmy Ward has an upgrade. I suppose we get in the scheme fit. 88 overall now, which is actually really high. Speed upgrade, 90 speed now. Could use that last game. Singletary, obviously elusive. Even though he is kind of a receiving back as well, elusive just gives him the best chance at speed. And I wish because he was a lower speed rating that they would actually give him a higher chance at it, but I guess not. Christian Harris has obviously gone up tremendously lately because of his breakout scenario. Uh, we'll get a coverage, which should put him over 70 zone, which... Makes him actually one of the better linebackers in the league because he's got 70 zone, 71 block shot, and 74 man. It is rare to have those three ratings all above 70. Uh, Kenyon Green needs a lot, but I think it's still just pass blocking in general that is a problem for the majority of this team. So that's what we're going to be doing with Kenyon Green here, which still gets a power upgrade. <laughs> like, sure, man, I guess. Uh, all the other guys are kind of backup level. Uh, some of them physically backup level. Stroud... The deep accuracy kind of stuff is still his issue. So, strong arm, which gives him two to deep, one under pressure, two to break sack, which is actually really good. He is insanely accurate, but doesn't really make it happen. Might be a me thing these days, though, because I uh, changed the placement, and I suck at it. Elusive back, one to juke, one to spin. I mean, these are all backups, so I'll just do these on my own. Week 18, the final week. No dev up, and oh my god. Jonathan Taylor is going to break the NFL record for most rushing yards in a season. Uh, oh, Derrick Henry's on his way to... Wait, maybe it was Derrick... Hen wait, what? I thought Derrick Henry had like 900. I know he had a pretty good game against us, but was it that good? What did he get, 800 yards last game? Okay, so that is not actually Jonathan Taylor. It is Derrick Henry that we are on our way to allowing an insane season for. Um, it's mainly our fault, let's be honest. Uh, player of the week, we didn't get one, right? So who cares if we allowed one? The Colts at 5-11. and 11, The battle of the worst place. If we lose, we're the worst place team in the division. Which is not really saying much. This is actually a pretty decent division, to be fair. Uh, but let's take a quick look at the injuries. Obviously, I didn't really kind of mention it, but we knew early on. Obviously, Tunsil was back. Rankins, doesn't matter. He's gone. Uh, I'm not going to re-sign him unless he's on a multiple-year deal, which I haven't actually paid attention to. It's time to clean house on some of these players. I know getting some veterans, it's nice, because if you have zero talent, it's better to have somebody that knows what they're doing than to have literally no one at all. But I need to get young. I need to, you know, get some guys that we can actually develop. And obviously, trying to stop them, you got to stop the run. As far as what we want to attack, I want to throw the ball, but I don't know if our guys are going to be, like, healthy or not. I turn fatigue completely off, and I also, uh, you know, have the fatigue, uh, progressive fatigue off. But that didn't seem to fix it, so I don't know. Another upgrade for Christian Harris. I mean, some of these ratings, these XPs, might need to go down because, I mean, my man's getting XP every freaking time. Like, a ton of upgrade points, but I suppose we go one more coverage and then maybe we head back over to Block Shed. Uh, three to zone coverage. Yeah, 73 zone, 74 man with 71 Block Shed. Let's get that Block Shed up now going forward. And then Jalen Petrie, another guy with a bunch of upgrade points been seeing a lot of the same names it's already got great zone so i'm gonna go with hybrid just for man coverage 
which hopefully we get, yeah, plus two with a zone anyways. And an Excel, that's nice, as he's already got 75 man, 88 zone. He is one of the bright spot cornerstone pieces of this team going forward, without a doubt. We got Dalton Schultz out here with some cotton. I mean, we got contracts, obviously. Devin Singletary, he's been really good lately for us. I'm going to reward him with a three-year 16, I believe. Uh, I think that's fair for him and fair for the market. Shaquille Griffin, even if he isn't the long-term option, a one-year 6.4 is great value. So even if he dropped on number three, I'd be willing to pay that. Grenard's been a little iffy this season. I don't know if I want to keep him or not. Phillips has been a pretty good return man, but I think we can do better there as well. Uh, Perriman, I mean, he's been a little bit of a liability, and he hasn't played that much. Greg Little, he's come in, and when he has, he's looked terrible. Kirksey, I think, is just it's too late for him. George Fant's been a decent backup, but, you know, mainly been a backup tight end, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, and then Fairburn's been great. So a two-year nine, and he doesn't take that. I thought we actually were offering too much. Cameron Johnston, I mean, punter is kind of replaceable, whereas kicker like Fairburn playing a perfect season, not so much. Dalton Schultz is still pretty good. Definitely don't want to give him a four-year deal, but if I put him as the number two next season on like a two-year 20... Hey, I'm down with that. 10 mil per year over two is is perfectly fine. Uh, but most of the other guys I think are going to go. Let's see what Grenard's ratings are before we do anything. We're going to have a decent draft pick. But at the same time, will we even get an edge? I mean, I think we can do better than Grenard, so we're going to let him go. Anthony Richardson. Don't know what kind of season he's had, but obviously with their bad record, you would assume it's not been a great one. Obviously, the Colts are in the same boat as us when it comes to... The uh, the record, Not, I don't know about team talent. We have a little bit less weapons on offense, but we might have a couple better defensive players going forward as a lot of their best defenders are on the older side, whereas guys like Will Anderson and Petrie and Stingley and Christian Harris, those guys are all very, very young. So it kind of depends on what you think is harder to build, a good defense or a good offense. And I suppose when you have that quarterback that they have, uh, same as us, you know, when you have a young quarterback, you do want to fill him with, uh, well, not fill him. Hey, watch out. Fill the, that side of the ball with more talent than the defense. So, I don't know. Both teams are kind of similar, like I said. So, I, I don't know. But both teams both in the same spot of really just in a rebuild, simply put. Obviously, drafting very high, and there's a reason for it. Of course, this team double-dipped in that top three, top five range. And uh, they ended up with two cornerstone pieces. Will Anderson hasn't been great this season, and obviously we've kind of struggled lately with Stroud, but both of those guys are obviously, you know, locks for their positions going forward. Uh, looking at Anthony Richardson, a little bit better than Stroud, but less volume. Had to do less because he's had Jonathan Taylor, so it's kind of hard to compare the two. And we're going to come out crazy with the Blitz, as we know that Anthony Richardson, as a youngster, is going to struggle against it. So we want to get in there as quick as possible, although they run the ball, trying to get some depth there just in case, and we end up allowing five yards, which is, I mean, we ran a blitz that wasn't really designed to stop the run, and it could have been worse. Let's see Petrie, a little bit over on that side, just in case there's another run. Quick throw, great defense, only gains a yard. Throw power is insane from Anthony Richardson. He's got that throw power. Stingley going against Pittman. It's tough matchups across the board. Trying to get over there with Christian Harris and going to get there late, but that's not where they go anyways as Tunyon must have been released by the Chicago Bears as he's the starting tight end for the Indianapolis Colts. And I know it's him because he's wearing that disgusting number 18 at tight end, which is just the worst. These things should be illegal. I'm going to be honest. And I don't know if you want to call that P.I., but uh, Petrie played really well in coverage. That's all I can say. That was perfect. Might have been P.I., but kind of anticipating it, and because he wouldn't let him go. It, oh, what a find. It blasted, but holds on. Who even is that? Josh Downs. How did he even catch that? It was insane. Kirksey going against the tight end. Double move inside. Uh-oh, Stingley got burned. It's not all about speed. Pittman deep for the touchdown. Wow. Trust me, nobody needs to see the the CJ Stroud numbers. We all we all get the gist. And almost intercepted. That ball took so long to get there. 91 throw power is not looking 
91 throw power Lee. Especially when you consider the fact that that was, was that Julius Brents, I believe? I think that was Brents. And even now, we have issues with stamina. I have fatigue literally turned off. Oh my. Do we just have to turn off fatigue, I guess? Like, I don't understand what's going on here. But like half the roster has been missing for a couple of weeks now. And we get the first down. I was about to say that's four down territory when you're in a situation where it's, you know, you're five and eleven. Winning, you know, is is a cool morale thing, but it doesn't really do anything for you. You know, you might as well just go a little crazy. And speaking of going a little crazy, Singletary on the route running. Woo! Look at that juke move. Burned him. You can't keep up with the Singletary. Let's see what we got with this. Kind of looking at Mechie. Oh, block. Wide open, Mechie. Oh, was it a bad throw? Kyle Van Noy is injured, but it looked like he could have ran out for like 30. Counter's all right because it's running away from Buckner. Well, about as much as you can, I guess. The fullback, Beck. Let's see if he can catch it if he needs to. And I thought somebody got a hand up. Look at Singletary blasted, but he's so elusive. Devin Singletary does kind of be him, though. Play action. And there goes an insane coverage play by Shaquille Leonard. How he makes that, I'll never know. Underneath, running back is open yet again, and they decide to go to the deep play, which we haven't thrown all day. That's a tough one. And good swap by Julius Brent, who is just too tall. We had our damn starters in, but no, it's the backups for the 43rd time in a row. And that's crazy throw. That is a crazy throw by Stroud. Gets it over top, puts enough power on it, and fits it right in. So move for Brevin, double move for Woods. And that is a terrible throw. Holy crap, well behind it. And will be intercepted by Shaquille. Maybe did have the underneath to, to Brevin, but Woods is open, and he just underthrows him by a mile. I wish we could play against ourselves each week. We put up like 1,000 yards a week. Like, we are not a hard team to pass on. And Petrie misses. Shaquille is not going to finish it. And Jonathan Taylor, who's fast, will score an 83-yard touchdown. We literally forced him out, and Shaquille Leonard just... Shaquille Griffin, our Shaquille, doesn't get him. Tank Dell's in, Pierce is in, but, I mean, how long? For how long? There he goes. Dalton Schultz as well gets blasted. Sucks, I don't want to hurry up, but... If I want to use her, any of these players at all this game. Good throw. Dropped, and Dell decided just like, hey, you wanted the, want the ball? You want to pick it? It's week in and week out with this team. What can I tell you? Coverage is perfect. And blast it again. I mean, it's ridiculous. All right, second and seven. We're going to come with a blitz because this looks like a run. It's not a run. And no way. Well, Anderson gets it, forces the fumble, and we recover it. Oh, my Lord, about time. We did it. We did it. They're all up because they just know what play we're running. And I don't know what number eight is doing. See you later, Mechie. Screw the block, right? This is genuinely, like, very difficult. <laughs> I don't understand. I thought I lowered the sliders. They'll give us the underneath again for good reason as at least the tackle breaking from Singletary is doing something. Literally got a contract from last week, basically. Last week's performance is why he is on the team for three more seasons. And obviously this week so far doing pretty well. It's a late throw to the singletary -ster. He carries Leonard for the first down. Lower center of gravity just killing him. All right, timing. Let's see if we have any of it. And almost picked. I don't understand how. They see all. They legitimately see all. There's no getting by them. And Singletary had to run as far as we could from Buckner. Gained six. I mean, they're kind of ready for it. All right, let's see what we got inside zone. And Singletary carries in for the touchdown. All right, we got the blitz coming from the... Uh Opposite side where they're going to be throwing. I don't know if that's a good decision. Can't get out of there. And we still can't bring him down. First down for Taylor. Three for 99. That's 33 yards a carry, which obviously isn't true, but 
It's not much better than that. It's off of one run. Christian Harris dropping back, kind of covering uh, Taylor. And low throw, trying to dive for it. I hate when our guys, of all players, decide to, like, try to crap talk. Like, they try to celebrate. Like, we've done nothing, dude. And we're not going to get out there in time. Kirksey is so slow. He missed hard. Taylor is their whole offense. You literally can't hesitate a moment with them. We do get ball at half, so I suppose as long as we're... Uh, we'll get in there. Oh, it's a read option. And we can't get over there. Not bad. I suppose as long as we keep it within two scores at least, we still have a chance. Running the blitz. And Petrie, one-on-one, -on -one, is going to get stiff arm. No one's going to get out there. He's going to cut back inside and gain 12. Trying to pressure him still, but it's just not working. Now we have the tight end, which is fair enough. And there goes Stingley. Burned off the line on the press again. Pittman's too much for him. I don't remember the last time one of our guys won like that. <laughs> still no Nico Collins, by the way. Dalton Schultz, a little underthrown, holds on. That is kind of why Dalton Schultz has stayed the starter, though, for so long. His route running is just good. I mean, he's not really open. Dropped. The coverage is just ridiculous. I don't know why it's not sticking, though. Every time we start this, uh, the game, before I start the video, I, I change it. There goes Brevin Jordan. Dropped. It's a little overthrown, in fairness, but drops it. Yeah, I don't really understand why the coverage is so locked on. I literally change it down to 50. Mechie. Picked off. Game over. Oh, we can't even... We're not even going to catch him. Good job, guys. Little old Kenny Moore. But what's really annoying me, though, is this stupid, stupid fatigue glitch. I mean, look where we're missing. Like, we're missing the Pierster. Like, Singletary's great and all, but, like, we're missing my man. Like, where is Pierce? And he's obviously, like, dead, dead. He's in a fumble. And he would have been open, but we didn't have the time. Got, like, nobody running routes, and we still can't block in time. Out there goes Robert Woods for about five. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to the sliders in the second half of the season, but, like, it legitimately ruined our season. That's a great throw, Robert Woods. The only guy that's done anything for us. Thank Lord that he's on this team. Although with his age, he's probably going to be gone after this season because we're not going to be able to keep a subpar player. And there goes Hutchinson. Nice catch and run after the catch for 19. I mean, our curl route game's good. We just can't hold on to the damn ball. Quick out. I mean, if they cover the quick out. No way he even gets there. A little late because I couldn't tell if the corner was going to jump that and leave Hutchinson to the safety. Yeah, that was the plan. It works out. Play action. Might go to the tight end. Please. Please. I'm so bad. I just feel like because it's a longer throw, I have to hold it longer. Is that not the case? Is every single throw for placement the exact same length of holding? And Singletary gets us to the six, maybe the five. Robert Woods, great route runner, but I just don't know. Kind of running out of room in this spot. He's open. Please. I don't know. It's a, it's a good try by Robert Woods, considering the throw wasn't great. But I don't know if I'd be celebrating just yet. I don't know if I'd be celebrating just yet. I feel like that right foot never got. I think the left foot was down. Yeah, I think the right foot was out. Left foot is in. Right foot's out. Nice. Celebrating for... No oh, they gave it to us. They felt bad. And then I let the AI kick the extra point. He misses it. Could you imagine Fairburn misses, like, best kicker award because of that extra point? And we can't get over there because our own guy... He's just insane, dude. He's just too fast. His route running could suck all at once, but because of his speed, it just doesn't matter. He's just gone. Jonathan Taylor to the 37-yard line like nothing happened. He's just chilling. And there goes Downs. I can't even hit stick him. And now Will Anderson's hurt. Thankfully, it's the last game of the season anyways. 
I'd leave too. Get the hell out of here. I'd be gone. You're not going to see me stick this one out. Can't get off the block, and Taylor's got all day in the world to decide where he wants to go with these blocks. Taylor could legitimately do his taxes with how good of the blocks he's getting. That interior, especially Quentin Nelson, is killer. Get there, and, oh, of course, knock around in, huh? Bruce Sternum out for the game. Now that it matters because his season stats have not been great. We were hoping we'd have maybe gotten a chance to, to get these linebackers up a little bit. And now we can't get over there again. Oh, my God. These wheel routes with the running back. Just every single thing is a wheel route to that damn running back. And it's pissing me off. We got some starters back in. Robert Woods. Gains about four. Please. Nice throw. Robert Woods. It is him. I told you. No one believed me. Robert Woods is the GOAT. He was benched for so long with an injury, and he's still going to finish the damn season out with the most yards. He's literally so good. Great throw right as we're being hit. Catches it down the sideline. Hezzy spin. Kills the guy. Touchdown. Well, this is a bit of a high-scoring one. There's definitely no one arguing that one, I'll tell you that. And we try to go for the running back because that's who they've been thrown to every damn play. Instead, they go to Tanyan. It's been Tanyan, Pittman, and, of course, Jonathan Taylor. I guess Downs. I guess they're just moving the ball around well, okay? What can I say? They're just killing us. And teamwork. They lose a yard. There we go. Harris going against Tanyan. Left the running back open. Oh, Tanyan drops it. Get too excited to run forward for the first down. Doesn't finish the play, and now it's third and one. We may have hope to actually get off the field without giving up points. Little hope, in fairness. And the blitz gets him. Phillips. Yeah, let it swang. Is that not what that is? Like, is he literally just, like, whipping out his ween and showing everyone? Is that not what that is? But see, I don't know what to do about the sliders because, like, even though it's really hard to pass, we're still putting up pretty big numbers in this game. Pierce. Ah, too tired to throw a stiff arm out there, feels. In my opinion, that's what that was. No way. Oh, Matchy. Good catch. Double move down the field. Robert Woods is good. Throw it away. And he's just going to hold it. Ugh. I know they throw that delay in there just so you can't just, like, throw it last second, but it's just so hard to get used to. And that's apparently too late. I don't know how fast you have to throw this damn thing, but, like, for it to not go and be considered a, uh, a bad release, you have to throw it, like, immediately, it seems. Is Brevin not open? I'm going to be so mad if this is a bait out. There you go. I did throw it early that time. Brevin with the slip. They're not the only team that breaks every single tackle. We can break a few too. Wheel route to Woods. They're looking at the blitz again, which has got them in trouble a little bit. And that's a really good throw while being hit. Robert Woods gets blasted to the 12, but holds on. Robert Woods. Prime Robert Woods out here. We love to see it. Oh, he burns him. Noah Brown in the comeback, kids. You see what I mean? Like, it's actually been really tough, yet we're able to compete. So it's like, what do you do? And no way. Once again, got freaking linebackers and DBs and whatnot covering multiple people. I would love to see this. All right, halftime score. We're down by nine, but we do have the ball, so... We are absolutely still in this. Phillips, if he gets a kicker turn to finish out the season, he'll get the contract. But without it, I don't know. I know he's got to sack this game, but it might be time to move on. And they're just all over that. You know, if I try to throw to Mechie, the guy stays deep, covers that. I throw underneath, the other guy comes up. It's just, there's no winning. Oh, we still got some starters out here. We got some energy. Pierce. And that's going to be picked off by number 17. 
getting his revenge. Once again, just coverage is ridiculous. The fact that we even got 26 points the way we did is really insane. Like, I don't understand why the sliders are still like this, but it's a challenge. Screen? Oh, that is not a screen. Bro, Stingley cannot cover Pittman. Christian Harris on the inside. Could be a run. Try to set things up. Oh, my Lord. Turns right into Christian Harris. How is that not a fumble? All right, we're going to run the blitz, but we're not going to press. Maybe I press user, but I got freaking P. Oh, nice hit. Got bumped by our own guy. Tanyan would have been open for the touchdown. But we got the stop. And, I mean, doesn't really change a whole lot that they're getting this field goal. So, still a chance. I miss being able to run the ball. Pierce on the carry. Oh, my God. Oh, look at Pierce. Gains five on what should have been, like, two. Buckner's insane, though. He's kind of going off. I, mean, I think you take that. Mechie. Of course. <gasps> Little old Kenny Moore in perfect coverage again. Kill him. That's ridiculous, dude. But don't worry. There's a preseason for next uh, next season. And uh, we will have our sliders set during that preseason. And someone to help? Nope. Okay. Taylor's just going to throw to the side. We still got, like, they know it's a run. And this deep safety ward is still just sitting there instead of coming up. You know, we're kind of just sitting in no man's land. It's going to take the running back who does not hold on, and it might be a punt. Everything's a field goal, man. Everybody can kick every kick from, like, 100 out. It's about 57. Don't know if there's any wind. It's a fake! No shot. Are they for real? We almost had the block, and instead, it was a fake field goal. Wow. Why they decided they wanted to do that, I'll never know. But sure, man. Up 12, do it. Stingley. I just sold so hard. I'm done. Pierce on the carry back left as both of his linemen decided to go second level on the linebacker deep instead of blocking the guy that just tackled us. Fan in again. It's so annoying seeing him in there. Why I haven't signed a new guy, I don't know. Mechie holds on. Once again, Brent's in perfect coverage. Surprised he didn't body him up. Four interceptions again for like the fourth time this season, maybe more. We were well above touch on the pick ratio and just finished the season well below. Just straight up drops it. It wasn't even hit at that point. Just drops it. And another drop. Good job, Mechie. Mechie can't catch, dude. He just can't. He sucks at it. And you can't say, oh, well, nobody's catching. Robert Woods is literally the GOAT. Like, he's literally played like the GOAT in all of this situation. I'm forcing that to, to GOAT. Might have had the deep shot to Hutchinson, but nothing's as real as it seems with him because he's so slow. And we can't get the ball off. He's so open. Maybe even touchdown open. All the time in the world to throw and ends up settling for the check down. Even though we're playing low. Oh, I just switched me to the wrong guy. I thought it was an out route. That's about it for season one for me. I think I'm uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right. I don't want to speak too soon, but this looks like a touchdown. Please. He dropped it. Oh, my God. Never mind. Look away again. We can't even score touchdowns that look guaranteed. Big old fan. little bit of P.I. kind. I mean, he just smothered us. Just nobody open all game long. Can't even... <laughs> okay, back to, back to sadness. And we lose a... Uh, I mean, by a humble score of 66 to 32. Noah Brown with another touchdown at the end of the game. Um, <laughs> we've got a lot to fix. We've got a lot to fix. Starts with the sliders, ends in the roster, which needs a lot of work. Um, still deb debating if I want to do a, um, look at this, a stream or not, because it's going to be a very long process to scout all the players, because we need literally every position. Uh, it's going to take a long time to actually, like, go through free agency, make sure there's not a single player that we're missing, a single position that we're missing that wouldn't help us. 
So I'm not sure 100%. I honestly don't even know if my computer can even stream because last time it legitimately was the reason why I stopped streaming is my computer stopped allowing me to stream. And recently uh, to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre with uh, a friend of mine, I had to play on PC and I literally had to put every setting on low and even then it was still struggling. So I might need to just get a new PC at some point, but those things ain't cheap. So, you know... I, uh, I've been kind of holding off as much as I can, but might need to happen. Of course, I've got some nice upgrades here, which if Will Anderson was super sorry, he'd actually get another ability slot as he's 85 overall. Uh, only got to 83 finesse, despite the fact that he was already, like, goaded out the gate. But, yeah, next episode, whether it's streamed or not, will be the off season. We'll go into the awards, stats and awards, potential dev ups, potential upgrades, re-signings, free agent uh, off-season signings, the draft itself, mixing the roster up, figuring out who the starters are. And then after that, the next video would probably be the preseason where we're testing out more sliders and testing out who should start. But that was it, basically, for season one of our Houston Texans Madden 24 franchise. 5-12, and 12, not great. Not great. We don't know what the, uh, the Browns are. Let's actually skip one week just to see what their finishing record was. Uh, as obviously we have their pick, but we do not have our own was hoping we would have done a little bit better for ourselves. The Browns are 7-10, and 10, so that is in the top 10 at least. As the Texans, we have given the Cardinals pick 2 overall, which is a bit of a disaster. But we still got a pretty decent pick with the Browns. Not quite our own pick 2, but still decent enough. Don't know what we're going to do with that. We need so much. It could even be a trade down. Try to you know get multiple draft picks out of that. But regardless, that's going to be it for this episode don't know when the draft would be uh, like uploaded. Maybe Saturday, maybe Monday. I don't know. Um, but yeah, still should be a lot of content for Madden uh, regardless this weekend. And uh, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, really appreciate your continued support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, Pierre Care Plays. And obviously, if we were to stream on Twitch, if I can, uh, it would be twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!